Hey everybody, T.O. from Art Geek Teaching. Today we're gonna to look at building table legs from black pipe, coming up. We'll go over the pieces that we have here. First we have a 24 inch piece of half inch black pipe. We have eight flanges of half inch, four half inch black pipe. Then we have six T's, four half inch black pipe. Then we have eight five and a half inch pieces and four four and a half inch pieces all right so what we're going to do here first is just scrape off the labels the labels are kind of a pain in the tail here um, just scrape them off with a razor blade really quickly not a big deal and um, after that go ahead and wipe off the adhesive that is remaining on there and any oil that might be on the black pipe just wipe that off with mineral spirits acetone works really really well um, but those are coated with a a really uh, light coat of oil generally to keep them from rusting until they're sold so just go over each piece wipe off the oil and again mineral spirits works great or acetone something like that something that will cut through the um, oil on there all right now we can assemble it and I'm starting with the bottom pieces um, just screw those into the flange first pretty simply um, hand tighten them they don't have to be super tight I just hand tightened everything. I do all the four corners first. After I get the flanges on, we'll go ahead and put the T's on there so that we can put the cross supports in. Put the T's in next. After the T's are on, go ahead and put the second piece of straight pipe for the top. And go ahead and put the top flange on as well. Make sure that you put the flange on the proper direction. It would be upside down um, or reverse from what the bottom one was because again, um, you want one for the base um, that will sit on the floor and the other will actually attach the leg to the table. So you want flat ends on both sides. On my particular table, the height that I wanted worked out um, that both of the longer straight pipe pieces um, were used on the legs and the shorter of the straight pipe pieces were used uh, for the width of it. So you'll just have to figure out what those are for each of your tables. Um, pretty easy to do, you just want to make sure that you keep your legs a half an inch at least away from the side. So the next thing I'm going to do here is put in my cross member. Again, these just need to be kind of snug. You don't have to really wrench down on them, just get them fairly tight. If you feel we can go another turn, go another turn. The last thing I'm going to do here is put my long piece in. This piece will give it a little bit of support halfway, about halfway uh, in the middle of the width of the table and go the full length of the table. So just a little little piece to give it a little bit more support. After our support goes through the first set of legs, then I will put the second set of legs on it and just tighten it as tight as we can get it without again having to really wrench down on it. You'll find you'll have to tweak this as you move along. Get a square and a level and you're good to go. Next thing we're going to do, again, make sure that you've got all the oil wiped off of that thing. And then I just moved mine outside on a piece of uh, paper, spray painted the thing with a rattle can. Easy pie. I put Rust-Oleum on it. I think mine's a, a semi-gloss, you know, cheap stuff, four or five bucks a can. Um, you, can you can get quite a bit of black pipe sprayed with just one can. So um, go ahead and finish coat the pipe and when that dries then we'll go to the next step. After you get done painting your legs, bring your table back in, flip it upside down, put it on the table and um, just measure around, center your group of legs, your set of legs and um, what I did was just put some short screws in it. You want to make sure that your screws are not too long so they don't go through the top of your table. <laughs> um, that would be pretty easy to do, especially if you started with one uh, width 
excuse me, one depth of wood and started with another one. Um, just make sure that you measure it, test the screw, hold it up there, make sure that it does not go through to the top. Then I just simply put one screw or two screws, I can't remember which, in each leg. And um, as I went through, got two screws in each leg, then I went around and finished them all up with four screws in each leg. This table has not been finished on the underside yet. Once everything is on, then I will take the legs off again. I will sand down the bottom of that table and probably coat it in a flat black. Most of the time that's what I do with the tables. I just want them to look a little bit nicer. Um, we're fitting everything together here so we can get it up and off the counter, get it in place, and uh, then it's literally a matter of only an, an hour or so for me to take the legs off, sand it down, paint it, allow it to dry, and then put those legs back on. After all my legs are mounted, the final thing that I'm going to do with this table is go ahead and put some felt on the bottom so that it doesn't scratch the floors. I used some uh, spray adhesive, um, it was a Scotch brand, you saw it there, and easy, just I put a piece of paper behind it so I don't get adhesive everywhere because it is kind of messy as it's in spray form. But just go ahead and spray everything, spray each one of the uh, ends of the flanges, put a square piece on and then we will come back after they're all glued on and the glue has set and we'll just cut them up. Uh, it works best to do it I think with a pair of scissors. Cut off the square, cut it to the round shape and that is it, you're good to go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And here is a look at the table in its final finished form. Um, I did not put a polarizer on here, so lots of reflections in here, but you kind of get the idea. The black pipe table legs are super simple. Anybody can do it. It's kind of like our old Lincoln logs. Um, they look fairly decent. Um, they're not super cheap. I think there's cheaper ways to do it for sure, but it's really, really easy. And I think they look fairly good, um, at least if you if you kind of have an industrial style or maybe a farmhouse style even in your home. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.